we need to start by setting up our free developer edition salesforce org so i'll quickly jump to the link developer.salesforce.com slash sign up which opens up a registration form wherein you can create your free developer edition org right it asks for basic details like your name address and all of it so i'll just start filling it up himanshu maheshwari you need to give a valid email as you get a verification email sent to the email that you mentioned here let's set it as administrator as the role company name salesforce makes sense country india postal code 734005 so, so your username should be similar to your email but it should be unique for each environment that you are using so what i'll do is i'll just take my email id and i'll just paste it on the username and i'll just add dot udemy at the end and i'll just click on sign me up all right so we are signed up and it says that you're almost there but you need to check your email to confirm your account so let's quickly jump over to our email and let's see this should be here in a moment all right so as you see we have gotten the email from uh, welcome to from developer at the rate salesforce.com let's open this email and this says thank you for signing up with salesforce and this is the url so you can just save this url somewhere and this is your username that we registered it with so we'll just copy this for uh, uh, storing it somewhere and we'll just click on verify account now this email that i've received takes probably two to five minutes to be received so you have to just be a bit a bit patient and uh, once it's there you can you can set your password and all of it so this opens up the page for setting up your password and it asks for a security question i'll just set some random value here I'll just set a password all right let's click on change password save it for now and this should open our, up our salesforce developer org now this is the free developer edition org which means you don't have to pay anything to salesforce for using this this comes with its own limitations but we can definitely go ahead and use it and do stuff and you know learn salesforce here so this right here is your salesforce org uh, as we call it and this is the url if you see this is a custom domain url wherein uh, you have a custom branding available that's called G gmail.com udemy6 this is based on the name that we've provided on the company and with the information that we put up on the form you'll see that a user has been created in the system and this user is himan shumayeshwari so if you see this is the user that that has automatically been created in the system and this is our user this is my user right now you see the username the nickname email name and all of it has been set uh, based on the information that we provided and if you see that we have been assigned the user license of salesforce and the profile of system admin we'll talk about licenses and profile in a short while all right and what if we want to just log out from the system we can just click on this bear icon here and we can just click on log out so this logs us out of the system all right Let's log in again. It sometimes asks you for asks you for you know registering your mobile phone, but it's not mandatory. You can just say remind me later, or you don't want to register your phone. That that works fine. All right. So now that the org is opened, we can take a look at you know how the how the look and feel is and and. What what things are placed where? So if you see, this is the lightning experience that you see here. It's it's the late it's the latest edition. It's it's the newer version compared to the classic experience that we had with Salesforce. We'll look into that in a while. But if you see that the default page that's opened up is the setup page, and you have the quick find box available here. So any and everything that you want to configure out of Salesforce from ad, as an administrator point of view will be available in this particular section. So if I want to search anything, I can just type in keywords, and this is a text-based uh, uh, search uh, search bar, and let's it uh, shows you all the relevant options that you probably want to configure, right? So if I say email or if I say objects, you know everything and ev anything and everything is available here. All right, this quick find box would be our way to go for any and every configuration. And this is the home home action item that's selected. And beside this, we have the object manager, wherein all the objects are stored. All right, we'll look into these also in detail in a very um, quick time. Now, this nine dots that you see right here is called the app launcher. And if, when you click on this, this takes you over to the uh, 
uh, drop down wherein you can select or open any any application that you have in the system so if i click on view all here you'll see that the list of applications opens up here these are all the applications that you have in the system and down below these are all the items which are mostly your standard and custom objects that are available in the system so you would see something like accounts contacts opportunities and all of it so you'll see all the objects down below and all the applications up, up, up above, above here so if i were to go to the sales application i could just click on the sales application and i'll be redirected to the same so if you see the sales application has opened up with all these navigation items and i can you know start my work and do my work here if i want to create an opportunity i can go to the opportunity tab and i can do so all right so this is on the navigation item link and if we see on the extreme right top corner we see the salesforce logo this can be customized to our company's brand logo for the company that we are working for and then on the top in the center you have the global search you can search almost any and everything here uh, you can search your records and this drop down also allows you to search something specifically so if you have something specific in mind you can just filter it out and then do a search right here all right and then on the extreme top right what we have is we can mark things as favorite we can create some new uh, you know stuff from here which are global actions these are mostly available on your mobile phone when you use the salesforce application on mobile these are readily av available there and here also if, if you want shortcuts these are like you know shortcuts and you can create some records using global actions all right then you have the trailed uh, learning path available what you can do is you can use salesforce's resources to you know learn and configure stuff so you can refer this section for trailer and all of it and then this is the salesforce help available that has all the links that you might need probably to understand salesforce see keyboard shortcuts go to trailer uh, support take support from salesforce you know give any feedback on all of it so everything is available here and then this gear icon is nothing but this opens up up the same page that we were you know redirected to when we initially logged in that's the setup page so if i quickly click on setup this opens up a new tab but this opens up the setup page if you see the setup page right here this is what we started with right the quick find box and the object manager thing here and then we have something called the notification panel or the notification bar wherein you get push notifications for uh, which are user specific so i'm logged in as himanshu and if there's any notification for himanshu this will be showing up here you can just take a look at it you can click on it and be redirected to some records take a look at them and then uh, do your stuff there all right and then this bear icon is nothing but your profile icon and uh, this is the current user that's logged in and this is his username which is my current username and then you have options to you know change your display to comfortable or com compact so compact does nothing but you know uh, reduces the spacing between elements that that gives you a compact look and comfy is nothing but it, it's more present to the eyes and it's it has more of spacing and margin available to the elements that you see nothing fancy apart from that you have the option to switch to salesforce classic if you see that you can switch to salesforce classic which means nothing but it's just an experience the ui experience so if i were to click on uh, salesforce classic you'll see that all the things will be present but the ui look and feel will, will be changed right so if you see you still have the logo you still have the global search and you have all the options available here to check your settings you can click on setup and it's just that the look and feel has changed now salesforce when it started it started with the salesforce classic experience this is what it looks like if i were to go to setup i could just click on the setup icon and this is how it would look like the same quick find box but it's it, the the ui look and feel is a bit uh, traditional and it's a bit you know old so after that salesforce came up with the lightning experience which right here is the button to get uh, to be able to switch to so if i click on the switch to lightning experience button again this will switch me back to the lightning view and this experience is the new experience it's it's, it's more user friendly and it's it's more dynamic it's built on a comparatively new newer technologies compared to what uh, salesforce classic was built on so this is about the lightning and the classic uh, interface right and then if i go back to the bear icon you have something called settings available here these settings are nothing but your own personal settings that you can configure so if you see this is not the org level configuration but this is the configuration that you you can configure for your user specific settings and this will be available for each and every user who logs into the salesforce system now i i'm not sure what happens here this this is the message i'm getting but that's okay let's open this page in salesforce classic should be the same same concept available so here if you see you have the my settings option you can just click on my settings option on the classic panel and this should open up your settings 
So under the settings, you have something like personal information where we already uh, have provided all the basic information. Apart from that, you can add your phone, mobile and all of it, your address information and then down below your work information. So if you have a specific start and end of day, you can mention that. If you have an employee number, you can mention that. So all of it can be done, right? And you can just make this, make those changes and you can save it. So if I were to just add something like a city name here and update my information, I could just click on save and this information would be saved. All right, let's go to my profile. So this is my profile or this is how my user profile looks like, right? I can, uh, since this BL icon is coming up here because that's the default icon that Salesforce provides, I can go ahead and change this and up upload my image. I can add a brief bio. This is more like using Facebook, Instagram and you know, WhatsApp, adding your status, adding your bio, adding your basic information for people to check and see, right? So you can add these information here. And if you want to check your user record, the record that actually exists that lets you log into Salesforce, this user record can be hovered and checked through the user detail button. So if I go to, use, go to the user detail button, this will open up the user record that corresponds to your user, which is Himanshu Maheshwari in our case, right? This is the user we are logging in. If we want to edit information here, we can very well go ahead and do that as well. So if I made a type or if I want to update some information, I can just click on the user record and I can change this information. Now this information is user specific, remember. This is not org specific or this is not related to Salesforce per se, but it's related to individuals who will be using the Salesforce ecosystem. All right, we'll understand about how users and profiles work in the system, but this is just a brief of you know how things look and feel on the Salesforce org. All right, great.